A liquidator issues a dire warning to the construction industry. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your Stein of coffee and let's have a look at this article looking at a warning from the liquidator of Oracle to all of us in the construction industry. Now, just recently I'll bring up, we saw building approvals, particularly for residential are taking a bit of a, uh, a, well, a sharp decline, a dive, or a crash, you might say. But looking at the chart, we can see they're returning to normal. The artificial bump caused by a home builder is kind of petering out. Now, the question is, will that result in a dip? Are we going to go below trend? We'll have to see, everyone. So let's have a look at this warning. Oracle Liquidator issues a dire warning over a relentless cycle which could see more construction companies collapse. A global shortage of building supplies is creating a vicious cycle of distrust that is fueling Australia's devastating construction industry crisis. Now, that's a really good point. I had some mates. They were uh, tradies. And they had one builder who was paying late, paying late, paying late. So you know what they did? They didn't. Well, they said, we won't work for you on the next development unless you pay us up front. And you pay us out for everything you owe us. So you've got to be in a position where you can say that you need to have enough FU money coming in or set aside that you don't need to just desperately take all these jobs because otherwise you can be providing to the point, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of credit to some nincompoop who could go under any minute. So a global shortage of building supplies is creating a vicious cycle of distrust that is fueling Australia's devastating construction industry crisis. A spate of building companies have gone under this year, where while developers are increasingly being forced to axe projects as they deal with surging construction costs and labor shortages. Queensland residential builder Oracle was the latest to go into liquidation on Wednesday, leaving 70 staff out in the cold and halting 300 homes that were in the pipeline. The director of the liquidation firm that's taken over the assets of Oracle issued a grim warning about a major problem plaguing the building sector. People won't buy the company because they are worried about not getting supplies. Oh, sorry, won't pay the company because they're worried about not getting supplies. The company won't get its money, so they can't pay their suppliers. Bill Cotter told the director of Romson Cotter Insolvency Group. Can you blame them? They've got no trust now in the company. It's all been shot. It's all been shot, so... They're going to hold, you're going to hold on to your money and force people to fight you in court to get it. But, I mean, yeah, if you've got and received the product, you have to pay for it. But they don't, they don't want to pay early, I guess. Their suppliers don't get their money, so they don't provide the goods or the subbies. Don't do the work. A homeowner won't pay the next installment, so it's a vicious cycle. Mr. Cotter also said increasing material costs were to blame with product delays occurring as a result. The crisis has caused, well, has been caused by a perfect storm of supply chain disruptions, skilled labor shortages, skyrocketing material costs, uh, and extreme weather events. And you need, they never add in here the fact that the market has been artificially overheated by government stimulus. That's what Home Builder is. And we can see it here. I show this chart nearly on every video. But look at that big uptick there. That's because of Home Builder grants. It's bought projects forward. Some people would never have started or even considered a project this early if it weren't for Home Builder. Another Queensland builder, Best Construction, collapsed only last week, owing $1.7 million. Earlier this year, two major Australian construction companies, Gorka Space Condev and ProBuild, went into liquidation. In July, Snowden Developments was ordered into liquidation by the Supreme Court with 52 staff members, 550 homes and more than 250 creditors owed just under $18 million. Although... It was partially bought out less than 24 hours after going bust. Yeah, but that didn't really save any other people anything. I think they just got some IP, didn't they? Uh, and there we go. We've got Inside Out. Yeah, we've talked about all of these. So other Australian developers have faced difficulties in recent times, axing projects and blaming skyrocketing construction costs and labor shortages. Perth developer Serona Urban killed off a $165 million luxury tower and more than 50% of the apartments have been bought off the plan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. How many of those bought off the plan was a 1000 buck deposit? Come on. Um, construction costs had risen 30% in the past 10 months. 
In the same month, Melbourne developer Central Equity abandoned plans to build a $500 million apartment tower on the Gold Coast, blaming the crisis in the building industry and surging construction costs for making the project unprofitable. So earlier this month, the $180 million development in Brisbane, which was set to deliver 250 homes, was sheltered or shelved by developer Cedar Woods, blaming rising costs, labor shortages, significant rainfall events in Queensland, and extended construction timelines. Master Builders Gold Coast Regional Manager Adam Proft said a number of factors were playing a part in the issue and construction industry was facing. It started off with COVID and people slowing down in terms of building activity. Then we had some stimulus that kicked off activity increased demand. COVID restrictions meant people weren't traveling and so were saving money, so they decided to put this money into their homes, driving the renovation market. But because of the co- uh, of COVID, the supply of materials reduced. He said demand for products has been completely outstripping demand or supply. And this was before Russia's invasion of the Ukraine created even more issues. Delays in getting materials due to both the Ukraine conflict and COVID restrictions meant builders could not complete as many projects as they previously did, and the cost for materials were also increasing. And we've seen this in shipping costs, everyone. Shipping costs, they've come off their peak, they're coming back down to normal, but they're still right up there. If normally you build 10 houses a year, but you're only doing two or three, you lose profit and money, he said. The hammer blow is the fact that what you budgeted to build the house for can't be delivered for that. It costs more and also eats into your profits. He said the price of timber and reinforcing steel had gone up by nearly 100% in the last 12 months. Other big ticket items had gone up by 40 to 50%. We're seeing price rises on a monthly basis, and while it has been slowed since last year, we're also seeing prices rise for something new every month. This is partly because Australia's heavy reliance on materials from overseas for its home construction projects. At one stage during COVID lockdowns, you couldn't buy a door handle or lock from Bunnings, which was almost unheard of. Unfortunately, there is delay in almost every item in the supply chain for construction across the board, as the bulk of what we use does come from overseas. Unfortunately, he believes most businesses... Unfortunately, Mr. Profka believes more businesses could collapse. We hope for the best, but we also have to be realistic. Some businesses won't be able to sustain the losses continuously. I think every business will be at risk at some point. It doesn't matter whether whether they are big or small. The businesses that can manage their risks better will be able to sustain it better in the long run. There's not one builder in the industry that hasn't suffered some kind of financial loss as a result of what's going on at the moment. The irony is that demand for their building services continues to be high. The work is there, particularly in Queensland and the Gold Coast. There's plenty of demand in the industry. It's just a matter of getting through the backlog of work, he said. So let's, well, have a talk about this. This is what happens when you overheat a market, guys. This is the result of an overheated housing market brought upon by government stimulus in in the market. And it's going to take some time to work through for everything to smooth out, for supply of goods and materials to normalize, for shipping costs to come back now. Probably going to be another year, if not two. Just be careful who you build with, guys. That's really all what we can say, honestly. And if you're a subby, make sure you get paid. Take care. Thanks for watching. Check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Says International for software and tools that I use and international news topics similar to this. And also, if you're a fan of the channel and want to support us, you can financially do that via YouTube or Patreon. Use any of our referral links, buy our pocket squares or call us if you need an architect. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says.